Hi everybody, it's me Lulu again. So in the beginning of the session, let's do a word brush up. Da da da. So there are three words on my board: cry, very wise, love. This is what we are going to do. Let's see within one minute how many synonyms of these words Lulu can think of. It's time I showcase my true ability. One minute, go. Cool. Don't you feel refreshed? Well, you know, I have a feeling that after today's class, your minds will be fully blown. Because not only are we going to learn more descriptive language, you know, the delicate words and expressions used to illustrate a story more dynamically, but we're also going to take a look at a very special kind of conditional structure, the mixed conditional, which is used to express how a past event is affecting the present. Hmm. Are you ready? Excited? I know you are eager to learn, but hold your horses. Firstly, pay back what you owed me. The answers to the two questions from the previous episode. Number one: How do you think Zhou Baotao planned to make his friends go ahead? Hmm. Let's see. What was mentioned in paragraph seven? Zhou Baotao asked his friend to help him to a rock where he could rest. So, does this sound familiar? Yes, this is the so-called distraction display. Okay, only once Zobotao did this, his aim was to sacrifice for his friend's own good. Number two, what might happen next? Well, in my opinion, it seemed Zuo must have succeeded in doing so, and then Yang Jiao Ai managed to fulfill the ambition of both of them. Well, anyway, the mystery will be solved after today's session. All right, let's get down to business. Yang Jiao Ai made his friend comfortable and wrapped him in his own gown. Then he went off to find a suitable rock. As he saw Yang Jiao Ai depart, Zuo Bo Tao raised his head and closed his eyes. Two lines of tears rolled down his cheeks. Okay, now let's look at some expressions and words in this paragraph. 这里第一句话的 make comfortable 是使舒服的意思 For example, after making his cat comfortable, he went to bed. 那下面一个动词 wrap 包裹 Wrap A in B. 用 B 包住 A. For example, I wrap the baby in a blanket. 第二句话里有两个动词 go off and depart. 两个词都是离开的意思 Depart 离开启程的意思它的名词是 departure. 那这里的 go off 是一个短语 For example, Jack went off to buy some food. In the morning, Mr. McDonald departed for Sydney. Okay. 那么本段的最后一句话的主语 two lines of tears 是两行眼泪的意思。接下来的动词短语 roll down 滚下滑落，这里形容两行泪水流过他的面颊。When Yang Jiao Ai returned with the rock, he saw that Zhou Bo Tao has divested himself of all his clothes and was almost frozen to death. His mouth. And lips were purple. His face deathly pale. 这里第一句话主句里的动词 divest 使某人脱去衣服，通常在 divest oneself of something 使某人脱去衣服。在这个短语中，这个短语的意思是 remove or get rid of something 的意思。Okay. For example, if you travel to a foreign country, you should try to divest yourself of prejudices. With his last breath, Zhou Bo Tao managed to stammer. Yang Jiao Ai, take both our clothes and keep walking. Take all the rice bones with you as well, and get to Chu as quickly as you can. When you get there, you must strive to fulfill the ambition of both of us. With that, he passed away. 我们来看第一句话里有一个 say 的同义词 stammer. Speak with difficulty, hesitating and repeating words or sounds. 结结巴巴地说，这个动词形象生动地描述了他是怎样的说出了这句话。我们在讲故事的时候，也要注意使用这样具有描述性的动词。例如 ，walk 的同义词 stumble 指踉跄
、绊脚的意思。这样的动词更能形象、生动地描述出走的状态。那这段第三句话中的动词 strive to 是用尽全力的做 strive to do something, make a great effort to do something. For example, he strives hard to keep himself very fit. And there's a noun, ambition, 抱负、志向的意思 fulfill, 实现、承诺、梦想的意思这里和 ambition 搭配在一起是实现、抱负的意思。也就是梦想成真。那么文中的 fulfill the ambition of both of us 是实现我们共同的抱负。For example, I will do whatever it takes to fulfill my ambition. 那这里最后一句话中的 pass away 是去世的意思。You can say that someone passed away to mean that they died, particularly when you want to avoid using the word die because you think it might upset or offend people. Well, for example, his grandfather just passed away, which is why he has been so down lately. Okay, cool. Yang Jiao Ai wailed bitterly with his remaining strength. He buried Zuo Bo Tao in the snow. Then, shouldering his knapsack, he headed into the blizzard. His teeth clenched in determination. When he arrived in Chu, Yang Jiao Ai quickly gained the favor of King Yuan. He helped the kingdom of Chu win many victories in battle. When King asked him whether he wanted a higher position. Or a good fortune, Yang Jiao Ai cared nothing for fame and wealth. His only concern was to give his old friend Zuo Bo Tao a proper burial. 这段我们首先看一下第一句中的 wailed bitterly. 这里的 wail 是个动词 If someone wails, they make long, loud, high-pitched cries which express sorrow or pain. 因悲伤或疼痛哭嚎，这就是我们常说的描述性词汇，形象生动地描述了左伯桃是在多么心痛地哀嚎着。For example, the woman began to wail in mourning. 那么这里的 bitterly, bitterly 伤心的、愤怒的。We use bitterly when we are describing an attitude which involves strong unpleasant emotions. Such as anger or dislike. For example, we're bitterly upset at what has happened. 那下面一句话又出现了我们很熟悉的单词 shoulder。这个词做名词呢是肩膀的意思，在这里的 shoulder 是动词背的意思。那么 shoulder his knapsack， 背起他的背包。那么这句话里的 shouldering his knapsack 是分词做状语，修饰 headed 这个动词，描述它。怎么样的走向风雪 ？For example, she shouldered Jack's backpack and led him to an armchair with her arm around his shoulder. 那么在这句话里，第一个 shoulder 是动词，第二个 shoulder 就是名词。OK， 那么我们重点看这一句话的后面一半。He headed into the blizzard. His teeth clenched. In determination, 这句话的主体结构是 he headed into the blizzard. 这里的 his teeth clenched in determination 是过去分词的独立结构。那么独立主格的一种表现形式，功能上相当于过去分词做状语。Clenched 逻辑主语是 his teeth， 构成新的描述对象。这句话的字面意思是他坚定的咬紧牙关。走向暴风雪中。那么 head into 是走向的意思。For example, he headed into the town hurriedly. Blizzard 暴风雪雪暴的意思。For example, because of the blizzard, we are trapped in the valley temporarily. Clench 这个动词咬紧牙齿，通常表示愤怒、决心或不安、攥紧拳头等这样的意思。For example, Jane had to clench her jaw to surprise. Her anger. 那么 determination 决心决定的意思 indetermination 果断的下定决心的坚定的这里的这个短语呢也可以说 with determination. For example, they fought illness in determination. 或是 they fought illness with determination. 下一句话里我们看一个短语 
gain the favor of someone, 赢得某人的偏爱 For example, he successfully gained the favor of the queen. And the next word, victory, a success and a struggle, a war or competition, 胜利的意思 For example. Uni leaders are heading for victory in their battle over workplace rights. Okay, and the next word, battle. It means a violent fight between groups of people, especially one between military forces during a war. 战役战斗较量的意思 For example, a gun battle between police and drug traffickers. Next word, position. Position 的常用意思是位置。职位、职务的意思。那么在文中 ，position 的意思是职务的意思。For example, he left a career in teaching to take up a position with the WHO. Awesome. And next one, fortune. Fortune means luck, a very large amount of money. 运气、财富的意思。Good fortune, 好运气。Make a fortune, 发财。For example, because of his good fortune, he made a fortune. Okay, the next word, fame. If you achieve fame, you become very famous and well known. 名望、名声的意思 For example, at the height of his fame, his word is valued. The last word, burial. A burial is the act of or ceremony of putting a dead body into a grave in the ground. 埋葬、葬礼的意思 Now, for example, the priest. Prepared the body for burial. Yang Jiao Ai explained, "If it hadn't been for my friend sacrificing his life, I wouldn't be where I am today." 这段话虽然只有一句，但这句话可是有深度了。If it hadn't been, I wouldn't be where I am today. 此句为虚拟结构。混合时态的虚拟条件句是对过去真实情况的假设 ，hadn't been。主句呢是对现在真实的情况进行假设 ，wouldn't be。也就是说，那时不是因为我朋友的牺牲，今天我就不会站在这里。我们可以模仿一下这句话 ：If it hadn't been for my primary school teacher's support and encouragement, I wouldn't become a teacher. 这句话的意思是，因为曾受到小学老师的支持和鼓励，今天的我也成为了老师。那么这里的动词 sacrifice， if you sacrifice something that is valuable or important， you give it up usually to obtain something else for yourself or for other people。牺牲、舍弃的意思。For example， she sacrificed family life。To her career, Kitty has sacrificed all for her first film. Okay. King Yuan of Chu was impressed by these words and had Zhuo Bo Tao buried with all the honors due to a senior official. Yang Jiao Ai was determined to fulfill his friend's dream, devoting himself completely to the service of Chu and becoming one of the most famous men of his time. 最后一段的第一句话里，这个短语 be impressed by, be impressed by 被什么什么感动。被什么什么留下深刻印象的意思。For example, I'm impressed by this story of friendship. The next phrase, due to, 由于、因为的意思。It has many synonyms. 这个短语有很多同义短语。Due to equals because of, equals as a result of, equals only to, equals on account of. For example, he came back due to the rain. So. Until here, the story is over. I bet you guys are just like me, so deeply moved and touched by the great sacrifice Zhuo Bo Tao made for his friend. So, what value does the story tell us? Let's right now take a look at the moral of the story. A Yangzuo friendship is a proverb in China, used to describe a life and death bond of friendship. True friendship in this context. Includes both affection and rightful conduct. Zhuo Bo Tao disregarded gain and loss in his complete devotion to his friend. 
Yang Jiao Ai refused to abandon his friend and kept in mind their old affection. In these ways, they served as models of what the Chinese people mean by true friendship. Yang Zuo Zhijiao 已成为一个成语，用来比喻生死之交，友善。既是友爱与善良，左伯桃不计较个人得失，为朋友周全考虑；杨角哀也不抛弃朋友，感念旧情，实为友善之楷模。Wow， 真是伟大的友谊。Now， what about you guys？ I bet all of us have great friendships and our own version of stories of true friendship. So later， let's share and see. But before that, as usual, let's take a look at some of the useful words and expressions. Number one, proverb. A proverb is a short sentence that people often quote because it gives advice or tells you something about life. 谚语格言的意思 For example, an old Arab proverb says, "The enemy of my enemy is my friend." Life and death, bond of friendship. 生死与共的友谊纽带 ，life and death. It's an adjective. It means extremely serious, especially when there is a situation in which people might die. 生死攸关的关系重大的 For example, a life and death struggle. Next word, bond. A bond between people is a strong feeling of friendship, love, or shared beliefs. And experiences that unite them, 感情的纽带 For example, there is a strong bond between us. The next word, context. The context of an idea or an event is the general situation that relates to it and which helps it to be understood. 事情发生的背景或环境 For example, we are doing this work in the context of reforms in the economic, social, and cultural spheres. 我们正在经济社会文化领域改革的背景下从事这项工作 The next word, affection. If you regard someone or something with affection, you like them and are fond of them. 喜爱钟爱这是一个名词 The very common phrase is. Affection for someone or something, 对某人或某物的喜爱 For example, I have an affection for stories. The next word, rightful. If you say someone or something has returned to its rightful place or position, they have returned to the place or position that you think they should have. 正确的 For example, we have restored Jim to his rightful place as editor. Next word, conduct. If you conduct an activity or a task, you organize it and do it. 组织并实施 Conduct. It's a noun. 人在某地或某种情况下的行为。必须要注意的是，这个单词名词和动词的发音是不一样的。动词 conduct， 名词 conduct. For example, I decided to conduct an experiment. For Europeans, the law is a statement of basic principles of civilized conduct. Next word: disregard. If you disregard something, you ignore it or do not take account of it. 不理会、不顾、漠视的意思 For example, he disregarded the advice of his executives. And this word is also a noun. For example. Whoever planted the bomb showed a total disregard for the safety of the public. And the next word, abandon. If you abandon a place, a thing, or a person, you leave the place, the thing, or the person permanently or for a long time, especially when you should not do so. 抛弃、放弃的意思 For example, he claimed that his parents had abandoned him. A short sentence. They served as models of what Chinese people mean by true friendship. 字面意思，他们为中国人心目中的真正友谊做出了示范。这句话里的短语 serve as 充当为
If something serves as a particular thing, it performs a particular function, which is often not its intended function. Now, for example, she ushered me into the front room, which served as her office. Okay, what a beautiful day. Now, if you ask me to generalize their friendship, I will say a true friend is someone who is willing to sacrifice all for you. 那真朋友就是肯为你牺牲一切的人。那么我们回顾一下今天学到的重点描述性词汇，关于说话的 ，Number one, stammer， 结结巴巴的说 ，Will， 哭嚎。关于动作的 ，Go off, strive to, divest, clench, shoulder, passed away, and 副词加形容词 ，deathly pale， 副词 ，bitterly， 形容词 ，life and death， 名词 ，two lines of tears and affection， 以及今日的重磅句型 ，remember that makes conditional。If it hadn't been for somebody， I would or wouldn't do。Cool， 同学们回去要好好复习哦。Next time。We're going to analyze the structure of the story and learn how to tell a story like this on our own. Excited? So am I. Well, well, well. 不要高兴的太早啦。说再见前呢、啊，我还是要给学生们送上大礼包的。让我们一起来看一下今日份的作业吧。Hmm. How can we retell the story with six sentences? Okay. So much for today. See you next time.